Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to enable the default Android nightlight on your Sony Xperia smartphone. And I tried this on the Xperia X and now we're going to try this on the Xperia XZ Premium. So as you can see, this is the default Android nightlight and the display goes a little bit yellow. And it works. The procedure is very simple. I'm going to show you. So if you go to display, you can see there is an option for nightlight. You have intensity control. And then you can also customize the schedule and you can set the uh, option to turn it on automatically from sunset to sunrise. All that is awesome but one requirement of this is that you should be running the latest security patch level. So if you go to system about phone, you should be running the first March 2018 Android security patch level. Alright here we are on the exit premium and first thing you'll need to do is enable developer options on your phone. So go to settings, scroll down, tap on system and then tap on about phone. Scroll down again and repeatedly tap on build number. So enter your pin in case you have it on your phone. And then it will show you you are now a developer. Then go to developer options. Scroll down and enable USB debugging. And then tap on OK. Alright so when you connect your phone to the computer it will give you this prompt. Allow USB debugging select this option always allowed from this computer tap on OK. And then tap on transfer files and just leave your phone somewhere here and now let's go to our pc okay so on your pc and i hope you guys like this wallpaper so on your computer go to this website the link is down in the video description and thank you so much andy tan for making this tutorial possible anywho you'll need to click over here and just open it in a new tab because later on we'll need to type in this command so it will take you to this page and go ahead and download this uh, nightlight file that is attached here. So go ahead open the zip file go to system go to vendor go to overlay and then extract this file onto your desktop or wherever you want. So once the file has been extracted you go to your phone and go to your internal memory and just paste it over here. And then we can close this and then after that go to this website the link is down in the video description once again we'll need to install a software called adb on your computer so scroll down select the google drive version here go ahead download this so once the download is complete go ahead and run this and I just I'm just gonna select Y for every option and then you'll need to install the drivers you can see it's very fast so once it's done you can go ahead and close this and it closes automatically so you guys remember we copied a file from our desktop to our internal memory now we have to go and install that so install a file manager I have a, a file manager right here this is the ASUS file manager by the way so tap on internal memory or wherever you have copied the file locate it it's right here android res apk and then it will prompt you this little message here go to settings and then tap on allow from this source go back and tap on install that's it tap on done go back home and we're going back to the pc now all right so on your computer you'll need to open the command prompt so just press the window key and press R and type CMD and here we are. Now you have to copy and paste this little command here. So just select this command and without the quotes obviously copy and we're going to paste it by pressing Ctrl V and then press enter and then press enter. And you just saw something happened over here as I as soon as I pressed enter and that's all you need to do. And now we're going to disconnect the phone and reboot it. So the phone disconnected. Select restart. Alright, this is the moment of truth. So the phone just restarted. We're gonna unlock and go to settings to see if nightlight option is there. So display and here we have nightlight option. And you can see the display does become yellow and, and you have intensity control, you have schedule. 
Awesome, right? And yes, we do have nightlight option here in the drop down notification bar. So you can turn it on and off right from over here. And once you're done, it's a good idea to go ahead and disable developer options. So go to settings, then go to system, then tap on developer options, scroll down and disable USB debugging, and then turn the developer options off. And you're done. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Do let me know what you think about this tutorial, whether it worked on your Xperia or not. So thanks for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.